Teamwork is true. Witness the power of hope decided by destiny. Effort. A fist of reprise. Time for a light show. Hello everybody, my name is Howdy Sam. I make Y4 Meta content and in today's video, we're gonna be talking about Yoimiya, her talents, her artifacts, her weapons, her team comms recommended and the ones that I like. We're gonna be talking about everything about Yoimiya. Everyone's skipping her, but I wanna make a video on her because I think she deserves it. Look at how freaking cute she is. Holy crap. All right, so let's just get into it. Talents first. We do have a triple crown, Yoimiya. Shout out to Zach for uh, helping me out to make this video. Thank you, man, I appreciate it. Look at these beautiful, beautiful, beautiful stats. Might be a little bit underwhelming, but if you use her right, she can be good. So let's just talk about rotations, all right? Play style. Main DPS or sub DPS? Depends on you. If you're using main DPS, this is the rotation that I liked. So we look at Neil Nawabi's fire dance. The cooldown is 18 seconds, which means you're gonna only have eight seconds of downtime. All right. So for 10 seconds, you're, you're gonna be going. Pew, pew, pew. That means you have eight seconds to either set up for your next rotation by using supports and their elemental skills and everything. Reuna Saxifridge, skill damage to 29, not the highest. So it's not like you're going to be doing big vaporize or big melt numbers like you do with Hu Tao or somebody else like that. R's base explosion is really good because Yomiya just shoots it out. You can switch out of her and she can still be doing damage. This is the only skill that lets you do some type of AoE damage. Her passive talent is every time she does a normal attack your uh yoimiya's power damage bonus is going to be increased by two percent on hit maximum of 10 stacks and it lasts for three seconds and the reason this is important is because you want as many stacks as possible because the next passive talent after using yoimiya's elemental burst she's going to give the rest of the party a 10 percent attack increase for 15 seconds and for each stack you have from the tricks of the troublemaker you're going to be giving an additional one percent so a maximum of 20 percent attack you can give to your whole party that's good because let's just say you use this you're gonna apply the r's blaze onto the enemies this r's blaze explosion can only be triggered every two seconds and since it lasts for 10 seconds a maximum of five explosions can be triggered in total so let's just say you have like a shincho a mona or bennett or something right after you're done with the fire dance those eight seconds before the duration ends you use her elemental burst you cast it some enemy has the aura's blaze on them your whole team has 10 let's just say 20 percent attack you do mona skill shincho skill bennett skill whoever skill their attacks are going to be beefed up for a little bit you're going to be triggering that aura's blaze damage if you have a shincho you're going to be causing a vaporize this explosion which is pretty good it can be good and after you're done using those elemental skills and everything you're set up for the next yoimiya elemental skill rotation bam back at it again perfect timing it's really smooth the rotation that 10 percent attack increase is going to carry over for like five or six more seconds depending on how fast you did it so those shincho swords or that ele or that mona elemental burst whatever is going to have an increased attack which is good in this clip i'm going to show you a rotation where you can start off with yomiya's burst causing the melt reaction you have some kind of skill that will apply either a vaporize or a melt and you can see that you can cause melt reactions with the rs blaze damage explosion in conjunction with yomiya doing damage to another enemy as well just another alternative rotation you can use with yoimiya's burst instead of at the end of your elemental skill so that's for main dps yoimiya if you're doing sub dps yoimiya and by sub dps you have like another main dps maybe you have hu tao or child or ganyu whatever this talent is still going to help your main dps because after she does her burst you're going to be giving your main dps more attack percent and you're going to be able to do damage with that r's blaze explosion for like 10 seconds a total of five explosions so whether your main dps or sub dps feel like the rotation is still the same try to take advantage of her newabi fire dance try to get her burst up so that way you can use that and switch out of yoimiya and do your other elemental skills from your other supports or maybe switch to your main dps she works pretty well weapons signature weapon do you need this weapon i don't think so it can be pretty good with a skyward heart honestly even like a rust is pretty good with that normal attack damage because all of this is just about normal attacks but i would say of course right her best five stars is thunder impulse because it's made for her then the amos bow and then the skyward heart whatever five star boy you have just throw it onto yoimiya for some reason you have an r5 rust throw that on her as well but rust is probably her best in slot four star weapon this is a good f2p weapon completely f2p four star weapon go for this if you're like if you somehow don't have any weapons slingshot r5 that seems good but you gotta be pretty close can't be far away this seems pretty good slingshot r5 go for it yeah it looks good increased damage same thing as like 
It's the same type of bonus that you get for like this crap right here. No more attack damage bonus because it's just damage. Another four star weapon is the one from the shop, the Black Cliff Warbow, right? That one's also a good option. Can mimic the same type of build other people use for the Thunder Pulse because the Black Cliff Warbow is going to give you crit damage. Or if you have the Battle Pass, the Viewer Destiny Hunt is going to be good for you as well because it has crit rate just for an easier build on Yoimiya. Yoimiya has a variety of artifacts that you can use for her. The four piece Crimson Witch set is good for Vaporizer or Melt Comps. If you're just trying to do straight up Pyro damage bonus, then you have a variety of options as well. You can go for her best in slot which is the shimano's remnants it's going to give you the most damage bonus you can go for retracing bolide in case you're going for a zhongli shield type of double geo team or you can go for lava walker because you're just going to be worried about pyro damage but out of those three the order that i named them is probably from best to worst it just depends on your artifacts and what you have available and stats Two-piece Crimson, two-piece Gladiator, or two-piece Shimano's Remnants is also good too. Like I said, it just depends on your artifact. You can even run a two-piece Crimson and a two-piece Nobles just to give your burst a little bit of extra damage. Let's talk about team comps. My favorite team comp was Mona, Yoimiya, Bennett, and Shincho. Great vaporized team comp here really fun and just non like constant vaporizes and the rotations worked out really smoothly out of vaporize melt and overload teams my favorite was vaporize then overload and then melt hey real quick if you're using vaporize you and me i'm gonna tell you right now because i already tested this with mona in another video the hits that are gonna cause vaporize is the first one right here the third one and the fifth one because of the stupid icd cooldown it's gonna skip like every other hit because you can't do back to back to back to back vaporize freaking shots now of course this is all on one enemy if you're going if you already kill one enemy and you're going to the next one then there's no like icd cooldown there say you finish off an enemy with a vaporize the next enemy you're gonna hit is gonna cause a vaporize let's see how good she would be if we had, if we actually had constellations ours blades created by ryukin sanctuary lasts for an extra four seconds hey that's huge Additionally, when an opponent affected by Aura's Blaze defeated within its duration, Yomiya's attack is increased by 20% for 20 seconds. Yo, that's huge. More damage when you go into the next elemental skill rotation. An extra 4 seconds means 2 more explosions. That's pretty good. C2, when Yomiya's power damage scores a crit hit, Yomiya will gain 25% power damage for 6 seconds. This could be triggered even when Yomiya's not an active character. So that means if the Aura's Blaze triggers a critical hit, Yomiya will be getting an extra 25% power damage bonus. That's pretty good too. That's... Yeah, this is good. C3, of course, is that. C4, when Yomiya's own R's base triggers an explosion, Noabi's fire dance cooldown is decreased by 1.2. I don't know how I feel about that. Like, that'd be too much. Like, you're going to be doing stuff with your other characters. Like, it doesn't really matter. This isn't necessary because you need those 8 seconds of downtime to do your other character's stuff. But I guess if uh, you need it, you want it, it's fine. C5 is that. C6. During Noabi's fire dance, Yomiya's normal attacks have a 50% chance of firing an extra kindling arrow that deals 60% of its original damage. This damage is considered normal attack damage. C1, C2, like, if you want constellations, just stop at C2. The rest, I don't, you don't need them. Just stop at C2. To. talent prioritization of course prioritize the normal attack somehow find a balance between the normal attack and the elemental skill then the last one would be ryukin saxifridge you don't need to get this first it's not priority priority of the other two now i'm going to show you a showcase of each team that i enjoyed first starting off with my complete waifu over meta team followed by vaporize overload and melt team comp showcase after the showcase i will share my final thoughts on yoimiya look at that freaking ganyu just causes melt Ganyu is super good. She can cause melt on the freaking enemies. My gosh. Born of ice and frost, this is long overdue. Fate is upon you. Barbados, guide us. Shadows of fate. Let's 
Light it up! By Royal Decree, take this! Let's light it up! Teamwork is dream work! No rest for the wicked. Wings of Dark! This is the only AoE she has, the burst. Nice. I keep messing up my rotations. I'll do this. 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 You see him, boys? Oh, you think you little? You can think you can power up? You think you little? Po you think you just power up from your little thingy? No, 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 dude. Fate is upon you. Let me scribe. I'm official. Effort. Vaporizing them. Whoa. One with my play. For Rex Lapis. Submit for judgment. Time for a light show. Born of ice and frost. Swift and merciful. We're way behind. Get all hail. Spirit play. I'm going in. Fire hazard. Go fish and fill. That didn't count. Teamwork is dream. Blaze over. From whence you came, a touch of frost. Swift and merciful. Here come the fireworks. Born of ice and frost. This is long overdue. Submit for judges. Teamwork is dreamwork. Feel the light. All hail. One with my blade. Everybody stand back. Very blade.
Final thoughts on Yoimiya. This is a godsend for mobile players. You click one button and then you just pew, 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 pew. You don't have to aim, you don't have to worry about anything. You can stay at a safe distance if you have Bennett or something, whatever. And she's kawaii AF. What the heck? Did you just see that? <laughs> That's pretty cute. I don't think Yomiya is a must pull. If I'm being honest, Yomiya is not a must pull. You don't need her. Unless you need a pyro DPS, then go for it. She's a single target enemy. The only AOE she has is her burst. And even then, it's not the best, right? Mobile players, rejoice. If you pull her, good job. You got her. Freaking Yomiya is literally the pinnacle of waifu over meta. If you love her, if you liked her kit, her design, her kit, pull her. Go for it. Do it. It just sucks that Raiden and all these other Inazuma waifus are so close to coming that it's just a hard decision to pull Suyomiya. But if you do need a power DPS, C0 is enough. I don't. Th I honestly don't think you need her, her best in slot weapon. You're pretty good with a 4 star weapon. Okay, you don't need Thunder Impulse, you don't need a 5 star weapon, of course, you know, if you do, it's good. But at the end of the day, she's not a must pull. She's only a must pull if you're a waifu collector, or you just love how cute she is and how she looks. That's all I have for this video. I love y'all so much. Thank you for all the likes and the subscribes, I appreciate it. Really helps out the channel, thank you for supporting. Remember, waifu over meta, and I'll see you in the next video.